In today's video, we find out why you need zinc, what happens when you take too much, and how much you really should be taking. Let's get into it. Zinc is an essential trace mineral, which means the body only needs a very small amount. It's needed for many of the body's regular functions, including the immune system, wound healing, blood clotting, thyroid function, and sense of taste and smell. It's really important to have enough zinc, otherwise it can cause hair loss, skin and eye problems, increased infections, loss of taste and smell, diarrhea, and delayed sexual development in teenagers. The best sources of zinc in your diet include oysters, red meat, poultry and seafood. Zinc is best absorbed from animal sources. Eggs and dairy also contain zinc. You can also get zinc from plant sources such as nuts, beans and whole grains. However, absorption is much less from plant sources as they contain phytates which bind to the zinc and limits absorption. Many supplements also contain zinc and they are usually included in supplements marketed for immune health, antioxidants, skin health, acne, men's health, fertility and general multivitamins. They are also sometimes contained in sore throat lozenges and nasal sprays. Always speak to your healthcare professional first, especially if you're taking multiple supplements containing zinc. Now the short answer of whether you can overdose on zinc is yes. Very high doses of around 200 milligrams a day or above can lead to symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, headaches, and loss of appetite. For some people, mild stomach upset can start at doses as low as 50 milligrams. Long-term high doses of zinc, that's doses of 50 milligram or more a day over a few weeks, can interfere with iron and copper absorption, can decrease immune function, and decrease HDL cholesterol, which is your good cholesterol. When zinc is so high that it causes copper deficiency, it can cause anemia, neutropenia, bone marrow suppression, and irreversible neurological symptoms such as numbness and weakness in the legs and arms, lack of coordination, and degeneration of the spinal curve. If you just take zinc in your diet, it's very unlikely that you'll take too much. Most overdoses come from taking too many supplements or using too much denture adhesive creams that contain high doses of zinc. These days, a lot of denture adhesive creams don't use zinc anymore, but it's important to keep an eye out for this. Inhaling zinc dust or fumes if you work in industries that are involved with zinc smelting or welding may also contribute to toxicity. Zinc is contained in many topical creams such as sunscreens, nappy rash creams and chafing creams. Very little gets absorbed through the skin from these forms so toxicity isn't a concern when using these types of creams unless it gets accidentally ingested. Zinc is sometimes used in nasal sprays marketed for cold and flu. Always avoid zinc in nasal sprays as this could potentially cause permanent loss of smell. The recommended dietary allowance for adults for zinc is 8 mg a day for females and 11 mg a day for males. The upper limit, which is the amount you shouldn't exceed, is 40 mg a day for adults. It's really important not to go over this limit, otherwise you can end up with zinc toxicity as we talked about before. The exception is if you've been advised otherwise by a healthcare professional. When talking about the daily amount, this includes all sources of ingested zinc, including in foods, supplements and in denture adhesive creams. Some medications may interfere with your zinc supplements and can affect your zinc levels. Antibiotics in the quinolone and tetracycline group can interact with zinc supplements if taken within two hours of each other. Taking them together may reduce the absorption of both the zinc and the antibiotic. If you do take these antibiotics, make sure to space the zinc at least two hours apart. Penicillamine, not to be confused with penicillins, is a medication used to treat conditions such as Wilson's disease. Zinc can reduce the absorption of penicillamine, so you need to space it out at least one hour apart. Certain diuretics in the drug class thiazide diuretics can increase the excretion of zinc in the urine and has the potential to cause a zinc deficiency. Other diuretics in the drug class potassium sparing diuretics such as spironolactone are more likely to retain zinc. Blood pressure medications in the drug class ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers may also reduce zinc levels in the body over time. So to sum up, can you overdose on zinc? Yes you can. So always make sure you don't go over that upper limit of 40 milligram per day. So that comes to the end of the video. If you found anything useful in this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!